and we're not going to be able to do this part, obvious, for obvious reasons, unless we draw them on or use something else to draw the antlers. There's the an antlers. Antennas. <laughs> yeah, butterflies have antlers, don't you know? <laughs> Why are you drinking your soda? Take a little sip, sip, sip of my soda. That I shouldn't be drinking. <sighs> Since my sons want to tell you everything I'm doing over here. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Misty's World of Diamond Painting. In today's video, we will talk about what to do with extra drills. In this video, I am using a magnet that I purchased from Walmart. And it is, it is one side magnet, one side adhesive. I found my pattern on Google by searching free cross stitch pattern mini sticker or something along those lines um, because I was trying to look for something small to make a cover minder. I am also using leftover drills from my mini diamond paintings because I save all of my drills. You start off on the perimeter what I usually do is I go to the top left and then I go uh, the from the top down because you want to start a perimeter it makes it easier to know your counts I think this one had 13 across and 13 down in the pattern if you can get your diamonds pretty straight in the beginning, then you should be able to keep your square diamonds pretty straight. If they are not straight to begin with, then they may be a little bit hard to keep straight. I'm doing this very quickly because I'm wanting to demonstrate this as quick as possible without having to make a long drawn out video. I then began to count how many whites I needed to fill in to, to get to the body of the butterfly. Because once you get the to the butterfly, it's easier to start filling in with the colors because then you know that whatever you have left is pretty much just the white. So... I have decided to make my body of my butterfly black and the wings are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple for rainbow. I decided to make a rainbow butterfly instead of following the pattern and making a blue are you saying hi? Yeah. <laughs> Why, thank you for saying hi. Say hi, guys. Can you say hi, guys? Say hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you think you're funny? Are you coming to say hi now, too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. I hope you like my mommy's tutorial. No. What? <laughs> Did you say no? I say no. You better say you better like my mommy's tutorial. Are you going to say, do you like my mommy's tutorial? Yes. No, you got to ask them. you got to ask them. <laughs> I say 
Oh boy. Can you say, do you like mommy's tutorial? Can you say it right and loud? <laughs> Both of my kids decide to help me out with my new venture. <sighs> okay, where was I? <laughs> hey. <laughs> you can make many items with just a pattern. You can actually get a blank canvas and turn your picture into a cross stitch pattern and you can use your leftover drills for that. You can put them on candles, just get some I think it's like E6000 glue, something along those lines. I would have to look it up. I've never used it. Um, you can glue them to the glass of, of your candle. Some of the things I've actually done is I made a, a sticker for my husband of Baby Yoda. And, of course, my sister said that Baby Yoda looked like Pikachu. But I think she's just pulling my leg a little bit because last yeah. I checked, Pikachu is yellow and not green. So I have made also my husband a sticker of Chewbacca that I found on Google. I have made many pictures of Rainbow Dash and... I made the other heart magnet that you guys have seen in the other in my other videos. I would like to know what are some things that you have done with your extra drills? Have you done a blank canvas cross stitch pattern on your own? Some of the um, people call them Haid, I believe, because the company Heaven and Earth Designs will sell cross-stitch patterns. You buy the cross-stitch pattern and then you can convert it into a diamond pattern by using math, which I'm not good at. <laughs> I actually have not tried... A large canvas. I actually had bought a canvas and they cut off the hands and so I asked them if they could please reprint it because the picture had hands and so they agreed to resend it to me and so I actually have used that for a few of my stickers and a few of my small, small like Rainbow Dash and stuff like that. Some people actually put them inside jars, like as a decoration. And some people, I've even seen some people pour their extra drills into like a clear glass lamp like the body of the lamp is actually like a glass jar and you pour your drills into that and so then there's just loose laying in there I've seen people decorate <laughs> their shoes with like the, the top of the toes, they have put drills on there. Um, I have seen people make 
when they do the hand turned pens I have seen people add the drills to their epoxy or their acrylic and just have the drills look like they're floating in the clear acrylic. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.